All right, guys, doing a late, later daily toy hunt. Just got out of the gym and uh, gonna head into a, uh, a Sabres, which is kind of like a Goodwill, and see if they have anything in here because they normally have some VHSs in here. We'll see what they have. So I came over here to see if they have any VHSs, and man, they got some. They got some pretty good stuff. Last time, he could. It's a great movie. Uh, what do we got? As good as it gets. Con Air, dude. Look at this. The Godfather set, six dollars. This is a gorgeous looking set, and they got another one right here too. Um, what else do we have? God, uh, Bodyguard's a great movie. Some people looks like they sold this uh, Tom Cruise collection. You got Top Gun, um, Risky Business. You've got me. I love that movie. Mission Impossible, Jurassic Park, Home Alone 2. Oh man, they got Rocketeer and it's a dollar too. How cool is that? <sighs> Might be a pickup. The Imposter, Dead, at, Dead by Night. Somebody sold their Star Trek collection. You got some Star Trek. Looks like some of these are the shows. Some of the episodes, Patriot Games, Dirty Harry. There's another Star Trek one over here. That's pretty cool. Mission Impossible, another Mission Impossible. Return of the Jedi. This is $4 for the special edition Titanic. What else is there? Homeward Bound is a great movie if you haven't seen this. It's a, Michael J. Fox voices a character in there. Now we got some of the kid movies here. Some Disney movies, Nightmare Before Christmas, The Muppets. These are pretty cool too. Casper. I, I don't think a lot, all of it. Yeah, it looks like all of it might be might be kid movies. But there is some like adult film films in here too. Not that kind of adult films, but they got a lot of Caspers, a lot of Disney stuff, man. It looks like they might have, you know, stocked a lot of good stuff recently. Uh, this one's pretty cool, the uh, ET one. Man, somebody dropped their freaking Star Trek books. This is majority Star Trek books here. Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek, and Star Trek. I don't know. There's none up top. Too bad there's no Star Wars books, but this is a lot of Star Trek books. I actually found two Goosebump books, but they're uh, reissues. I actually found this original one at a book off for a really good price. This is cool to see though. This is, um, it's it's embossed on top. What the price on this, 149, this is pretty cool. I found some more Goosebump books. These are priced at $1.50 for these ones here. All right, last time I came here to buy something with some comic books, one of them was a, actually a good issue. And then I found the sealed Princess Bride here one time on VHS. This time I scored you know, some Goosebump books and a couple VHSs, as you can see. Couldn't pass on these for a buck. Stop by a Target real quick. Yeah, they still have these guys on clearance, which are at 449, the, the three, the four pops. It was a lot more of these last time I came, which is a couple of weeks ago. Let's see if they have anything new. Any, the Marvel or the cards here are not like the greatest selection, but um, here's the figures, some of the wrestling. Doesn't look like they have any AEW because I've mentioned this before. I am looking for the ego figure and the chase, but like I'll never find a chase. I've never seen a um, AEW chase in the wild. I take that back. There is a scalper who grabbed one because he knows the target employees. Look at this. This is all empty. Wow. This is the first time I've been here and I did don't see any DC multiverse. They have uh, this end cap, which every target I've seen so far has re-released this Wolverine because of obviously because of the movie coming out. Uh, let's see, the pop stuff's going on clearance too. I, th I think Sauron went down, but I could be wrong. These one, there's a chase still sitting right there. So it's Scarecrow, the Joker, Scarecrow, Batman. Scarecrow, another Scarecrow, but that's gonna be it. It's like this place is getting empty. Let's see what they have. I'm on the price on this boy, 15 bucks, full price on this one. All right, guys, so I'm going to a Walmart right now. I got to meet up with a buddy, Terror Pops. He got me a Funko Pop, and it's a Hot Topic exclusive. It's DC related, it's Batman related. I'm wearing a Batman shirt from Dark Wolf, but I'm um, gonna meet up with him really quick, and then I'll probably stop into Walmart to see if there's anything in there. Lately, the, this Walmart has had nothing, but we're still gonna go in there and check it out. All right, here we go. Walmart. Let's see if they restocked in their bloody, disgusting area. 
Oh, they got the Deadpool stuff. Ultraman. I think the, the shirts for the TMNTs. Bunch of Deadpool stuff. Uh, Deadpool, Deadpool. Keychains for the X-Men's. Um, what else do they have? The anime section they have here. I want to look at their steelbooks too. But what do we got more? Blu-rays and all that good stuff. Some seasons down that way. Whoa, I like how they just did like a freaking circle around, like a circular thing right here. Uh, I don't know what's up here. And some of the slipcover stuff and then vinyls. But where's everything else? That's it. There's, isn't there a horror section? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so they got a Toxie, right? And then a Terrifier, or not Terrifier, House of a Thousand Corpses. These posters, which are pretty crappy, I'm not going to lie. And then some blind bags. A lot of the horror NECA stuff is gone. The light, the wrist, the wristbands, little wristband things for the um, killer clowns. A couple plushies you can see here. Blade Disgusting shirts, the two pack black and white, which I knew was gonna sit. Some of the shirts there too. So that's what's left over there. They don't have steel books in this one. What do we got over here? Stranger Things. And oh, they got some South Park shirts here too. G.I. Joe. Turtles. More turtles. And very few pops here. This already doesn't look promising here. Yeah, see there's... I don't know if they had these the last time I was here, but I think the DC stuff was pretty empty. Look at all of these. It's Invisible Jets 14. This this will go on clearance. These are still sitting here. All these. Some Star Wars. Here's the AEW stuff. Star Wars vehicles. Wrestling. Good amount of wrestling at this location. And then here's the Masters. They got the King. Some of these characters here. Bunch of turtles and old Marvel Legend figures here. Not a whole lot. And Godzilla, some Transformers. This whole area is like empty. I don't know what was there. And I don't know if these are new. These Bendy figures. Not 100% sure, but is there like a resurgence or is there a new game? Because there's like a bunch of Bendy merch here. And then some of the Sonic and video game figures that they have. Man, oh, these look good. This is awesome. You know what's funny is I've never seen this movie. I still have not seen the movie, but I, the Art the Clown is awesome. Yeah, that's what I hear. It's gore porn. But these look, these look awesome. All right, guys, meeting up with Terra. Just met up with Terra Pops. Had a good chat with him. Um, cool guy. Again, if you guys want to follow him, Terra Pops. Check him out on Instagram. So he got me. Th those Terra Terrifier Pops were his. They weren't mine. He went out and grabbed them. Um, I have mine on pre-order. Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. Link in the description down below. I still got to watch the movie, though. I haven't seen the movie. I'm not a big fan of gore porn, but I, I think Art the Clown is a freaking sick looking character. So he did get me, now this is the first of Funko Pop of Batman Returns. He's got the outfit right there. So this is awesome. So Batman Returns, got the pop secure. Thank you, Terra Pops. And he got me a little gift. Check this out. Unused Deadpool Jack in the Box merch. How sick is that? This is from, I'm assuming one of the burgers. So. I love this, man. This is so cool. Deadpool and Wolverine. Look at that. And like, apparently, they're going to have the little little thing exclusives of these there. And then he got me the... Uh, I don't know if this goes in fries, pancake minis. Who knows? But check this out. Look at that. This is so awesome. Unused, man. Ah, that's cool. Thanks. Thanks again, Richard. Good guy, man. Come on, Raphael. Wait, wait. I'm going to interrupt you. I just went to Jack in the Box right now and asked him if I can get one of those antenna things. And yeah, they, they, as I'm filming this, they're not available to tomorrow. And there you go. But they are limited, apparently. And you have to buy one of their deluxe boxes. But the lady gave it to me for free. So this is the Deadpool antenna. That is awesome. This is this is a pretty cool little thing. And then it's got the little baggie right here. And you can seal the sucker right back up. I am super excited for it. But Raphael, get back to the video. And um, yeah, what I picked up at, uh, at um, Sabres, I have this the original on this one already but for a dollar you can't you can't complain same with this version of haunted mask for a dollar can't complain and then a couple vhs's hey a buck come on come on so 
All right, that's that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, again, the Halloween videos are gonna be coming. There's a lot of stuff that's coming up. A lot, a lot of stuff. I'm telling you guys right now, stay tuned. There is so much content coming to this channel. I'm really excited. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up the video. Use the links to down below for Big Fat Toy Story and Intimate Earth. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.